I got fucking battered in Mexico with them fucking legs. You get some repellent. I bought to ban me in some spray. I've got a program you can buy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so what? A good honour. Oh. And? And what? Oh. She's a fucking better player than me. Oh yeah, and? <laughs> She's fucking mouth better. <laughs> oh, do I? <clears throat> she fucking raped me last week with points. Fuck. I'm in the old... Is that your dog, Lemon? <laughs> well, I'll go for a fucking game then. Oh, shit. <laughs> go there. I'm sitting there just looking at it. Yeah, I know. I bought your fucking messages on my phone. <laughs> the only messages I've got off you is uh, not playing you. Do you ball? <laughs> I don't give a fuck anyway. I mean. mm. I don't know what I've got again. Irish champion. I can't see yet me. No, I'm just looking at trees.
here. Mm, mixed it. Rugby league. Rugby league. I uh, played union uh, a couple of months ago for my mate's team. Just for fuck around. Is that not on YouTube? Nah. I, if it was, it'd be funny because I got belted by this big fucking huge bloke. South Africa's been going all right. No, yeah, they, I, the old man said it was a good game. I didn't see it. But, yeah, no, um, he reckons South Africa, I reckon South Africa's going to get it. They reckon they've got a good team, yeah. So. But it just depends. Uh, just depends. <laughs> England could come up and win. <laughs> nah. New Zealand haven't got that good of a team, eh? This year, I don't think. I think that uh, a lot of them got into trouble. Like, in the team, the New Zealand team, so they haven't got, you know, the proper team. There's a few out that were... Same as over here. There's a heap of our league players that are in a lot of trouble. Like going out, getting on the coke and fucking up. Who's that Benny Berber doing? Uh, one's, in, one's in jail for life, for murdering. Oh, uh, uh. He attacked his wife outside an art club, didn't he? Yeah, nah. off his tits. Uh, and then there's another one. And no, there's no, another no. one that raped a Sheila. <laughs> I'm not saying no till after that last door. <laughs> nah, I miss my apple. Yeah, but they say rape. <laughs> who was it? Who, uh, who was the one that, um, Went to that Sheila's house and they got the video of him and he had the dog. Um, what girl? Oh, one of the footy players over here. He went to this, some like they, these people got him on uh, their uh, phone, and he's there. He's blind, rotten, drunk, and he's there dry humping the dog and everything. Again, and it went all through the news and everything. He had to go on the news and fucking apologise to all these fucking. Um, the RSPCA and all that for you know cruelty to animals and fucking poor Johnny <laughs> cops it. They're fucking tapped over there. What were pissing in his own mouth, was not it? <laughs> oh, they're fucking sick cunts, half of them. They get coked off their Look at this one first, it's just going to give a fucking shit. pissing in his own mouth. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Oh. oh, I didn't say that. Oh.
Love this shot, Jim. I'm fucking behind you. Oh. I'm not gonna pull these. Yeah, I've got one. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, <laughs> you did it too. <laughs> what the hell, dude? That's just not even a putt read. <laughs> That was bullshit, that. Mine said it was going a bit to the right and it just took off to the left. <laughs> yeah, can't, come on. South Coast, right on the coast here. At winter time, we get it. It's pretty cold. It was four degrees this morning. Up Queensland, that's up north. It is like in summer and that here, it's hot. But winter, it's just there. Yeah, freezing. Go up, pal. Oh, I don't know. I think he's catch me. Is he missed? Yeah, you're right.
Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, I just missed that two foot putt. Good game, James. Well played, though. I'm fucking glad I didn't fucking beat me. Yeah, I missed two shitty putts. Fucking like dog's back leg. Hey. Are you not jumping in, Will Emmons? It's a fucking house to me, James. <laughs> hey. Fuck yeah. Got to visit each other, man. Do what you want. Hopefully. Irish champion. Oh, Condor chance. Yeah, two Condor chances. Okay. Yeah, you're back in. Yeah, you're back in. Oh, come on. You're back in, James. It's only two bar. Yeah, you've got Treasure Island. I'm back at the old. Probably have one game and I'm out of here.
No game me. Good guy. I'm in the orbit, no game. Uh oh, searching there, uh, cancel. <laughs> They've done it again. <laughs> Three, two, one, go on eight. Go. Oh, think so. Yeah, just me and you. Fucking not going to your monk, fuck me. Eight to twelve fast. I'm not expecting a message then. Uh, nobody will come in now. Unless you want to try and pick two more up. Chambers there coming back. I've not got time, I'm going in now. No, about 15 minutes.
Okay. I'm back. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah. I'll see what can happen. Oh, that'd be shattered. That'd be shattered. Up. Oh, oh, look at this. Too hard. Because <laughs> his jelly's gone smaller, that. <laughs> no, I, um. I needed to get him on there so that everyone can see the cheat, the one that uses the laptop and that. <laughs> oh, he could he try to get him to explain how he uses it and how it works. <laughs> An iPad. And it's just off the phone. USB. Yeah, I'll fix it. Whooping to me. I might have to hand the control over to Nikki. Yeah, you too, thanks. So you know, slow, blue, three to four. Slow, blue. Blue. What did I say? It's in my coin. Coin. Oh, 
<laughs> Comments on the game. Oh, I spoke to the right too much. <coughs> is Shane Doos all right, or whoever it is? Who's he think that I'm talking lad? I don't know. Fucking hell. My left stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's your tip for the day. Come back next week. He's stopped on lit, man, James. Fucking. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest as well, it, it was a fucking fluke as well. I couldn't fucking ju judge it. Yeah, good game, mate.
Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm just being quiet. <coughs> I was just checking my fish tank out. <coughs> hot ones a cup with more JDs and I reckon I'll be relaxed then. <laughs> uh, there'll still be there anyway as well. I'll work with me now. Don't take long in that fridge. That wind killed me then James. <laughs> I was going into the fucking roof for fucking spun it, spun back. I sent him an invite. <laughs> there you go. Let him, let him catch him. That's it. It's all over. No, it's not. Good go. <laughs> Good go. That's it. It's over. Nice chip. Nice little chip.
How old's your pup now, Lemon? Bullshit. Oh, who's it? The other one quit. Was that that Shane do? Yeah, there's only three of us left. <laughs> you get it, you get it. Uh, one from Denny. <laughs> no.
this is this this is where he hits the enter button when he wants he just hits one button <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> If you hear a double tap, that means he's aborting, so... Kieran. Good game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, oh, well, I won't I won't be following you. <laughs> Nice shot, Lena. Huh? 
Hej. How many shirts do you want, Lemon? Are you red down the bottom? <laughs> it says, no, it's along the bottom of the screen. In, in your yellow or orange. <laughs> That's for the first hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have people buying 10 each, mate. Oh, what am I doing? I know. For a thousand bucks, mate, no problem at all. <laughs> oh. Oh.
Yeah, I'm G-Man. I'm G-Man, bro. Australia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we are Irish descendant, but no, uh, Aussie. Yeah. Done. We're all doyens. Who's? Nah, my great great relatives. Yeah, you're the dumb bastards, mate. You sent us to the better country where there's sun and fucking warmthness. You're in the cold. <laughs> Probably more than likely are, mate. I know that we robbed 101 stagecoaches. <laughs> we had to change our name three times. <laughs> and, like... <laughs> That's just up the road from my oh, about three hours. Oh, come on. Yeah, where we are, there's we were in the bush, so there's heaps of snakes in that here. We go out the front door, you go yeah, I've got a heap of red bellies and browns where we are. Seven. Yeah, we've got seven the most deadliest. Taipan. <coughs> or the King Brown. Depends, like... <coughs> well, the <coughs> well, Taipan, you haven't got fuck all because it's... That goes straight into your system and it eats... 45 minutes and you're dead. Yeah. you got to lay still. Basically, you got to lay still and not move a body, but move an inch and calm your heart rate down and try to sit there for as long as you can. Hopefully, somebody else will go get it for you. But, yeah, nah. Yeah. Beg your pardon? Thai pants, nah, and all that, nah. No. No, we get a, a few browns, red bellies, blacks, uh, carpet snakes. Yeah, the, uh, the browns are. The browns can kill you. Um, yeah, there's king brown. There's a king brown. There's a, there's a brown, a normal brown. Oh, look at that. I smashed that. Yeah, but, yeah, I know, well, they, they brought the cane toad over. That's what's killing the snakes over here. The snakes are eating, yeah, the cane toad. They're, they're, and then they tried to bring a cane beetle over here. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's just gone out of control. <laughs> they tried one thing with another, and it just didn't work. Uh, and they, I don't know, they've got the European carp in the... the the fresh water now and that that's killing everything. Uh, so it's like nah we don't need them. They're, they're crappy now. They have like no way. We we if you catch one if you catch one here in Australia, you have to pull it out and put it on the bank and leave it. Kill it. It's not allowed back in the water. You can get fined for it, yep. That's a rule mate. Yep. Dead set. You are not allowed to put a carp back in the water. Nope. Not in our fresh water.
네. 네, we haven't got the vipers. They're a South American snake, I think. No. Yeah, it's a taipans, the uh, got the tiger, you got the brown, you got the king brown, you got the red belly, you got the black. Um, you got there's a couple more. Deaf adder. Um, <laughs> and then you go into the pythons. The top pythons, the biggest python that they've caught was about 26 foot. Yeah, goes up. Yeah. I used to have one out of the bush, I used to catch one out of the bush, caught one out of the bush. And you used to have it in the house as a pet. Yeah, but they'll, they'll hit ya, they'll hit ya four times and you think you've only hit, been hitting once. Like that's why they, they hit, hit you with that much venom. It's just like four strikes in one. Nah. Nine times out of ten, you will never see the snake. The only snake you'll see is one that's cold, that's like m hasn't sunned itself to move. But otherwise, you won't see a snake. Like they'll hear you coming from with a hundred meters, and they're gone. Like they don't, they don't want to see us. They they hate us more than what we hate them. Like you could have one, you could have one living in your roof for years and years, and wouldn't even know it. But your roof won't have possums or cats or anything living in it. Yeah, no, well our King Brown does that. The King Brown, that'll hunt you, that'll chase you. No, if you go near its hole or near the water, if you go near its water, it'll it'll chase you and actually chase you away from the water. I've had one chase me. Like I've been bitten by a red belly, and they made me go to the hospital. So I grabbed the snake, put it in the bag, took it in. And I said to the doctor, like went in. I said I've been bitten by a snake, and they said, you know. So I pulled the snake out of the hessian bag. The old nurse and the doctor all took off. I was like, well, what the fuck? put it back in the bag and I'm sitting there they're like where is it where is it I said it's back in the bag you're all right they're like don't pull it out don't pull it out again like, well yeah I have to bring it in the show to make sure it is a snake that bit me so you don't get the wrong any venom or otherwise you get killed yeah yeah
Oh fuck. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, fuck all. Yeah, same dead same as a viper. Yeah, no. Same as a dog. I've a couple of mates like been out the bush pig hunting and their dogs have been bitten by a snake. They just chop the tip of the tail off. The old dog takes off, lays underneath the truck for about six or seven hours, bleeds out a little bit and comes good. Yep. Chop about, oh, I don't know, they chopped about three centimetres off the tip of the tail. And the old cattle dog, it took off. We thought, we thought it died, like, I thought it was dead, like, just took off to die. And just laid up underneath the truck and, the, like, the next morning, the old dog come walking across. Like, what the fuck? He goes, yeah, a couple of dogs, a couple of dogs have died, he goes, but I've had a couple of few dogs that have survived from it. Like, his old man showed him it. I was like, wow. Supposedly, yeah, I don't know how it works, but... Ah, uh, the old, the old man has. The old man has, I haven't. I, I, we've chased a couple, like, put a couple of leg ropes and made surfboards and that on it and they've taken off and chase chasing through the bush to get them back. But... The old man got attacked. The old man got attacked one day. Oh, no, no. I'm telling you, if you try to box one, if you try to box one in the wild, it leans back and comes up with them back legs. It'll shred you to open, like your whole stomach will be open. Like they, I'm telling you, they will, they will shred you to part, apart. Like you would, yeah. They're not. Oh yeah. Not in the I watched one chase me old man to the back of his four wheel drive. Me old man Superman in the back of the four wheel drive. My old man sixty odd. Like when that happened. A <laughs> little grey-headed old bloke, he was off and running. We were sitting in the truck laughing. <laughs> the drop bears? Nah, they're koalas are alright. They're harmless, they sit in the tree getting stoned all day. Yeah, the eucalyptus gets them drunk. Dingo stole my baby. No, there's not many of them left. They're, like wild ones, they're all been interbred with everything. The only, ones you get the only one you get is on Fraser Island. That's the only ones that'll that are yeah. The rest of them are just all shit now. There's people trying to sneak them off Fraser and sell them, but uh, yeah. Not on Fraser, they haven't because it's it's uh, all the other ones that are inland, like near Ayers Rock and that, they've all been crossbred and that. But the ones on Fraser haven't been, like, there's no dogs, no nothing allowed on there. It's like a little island, real protected by the uh, Queensland government. But there's, yeah, there's 60 or 70 freshwater streams and dams and couple never see them but I never like you see them in your room like up in the corner but they're just there they'll kill all the flies and mozzies and whatnot so uh. uh -huh. Yeah, no, we don't mind them. It's only the huntsmen that are the worst here. Yeah, that's what I want. Iguana. We've got the bird eating one. Triantula.
Yeah, the ones that are in the market. And plenty of them that are in the markets that you can buy to eat. I say you venom, I say you venom, make you hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think you've got any venomous ones over there. New Zealand haven't got any snakes or spiders. Yeah. No, nah, they've got like a um a legless lizard type thing, but that's yeah, it's not venomous. New Zealand's not that close to us, eh? Yeah, it's yeah, it's not that close to us, eh? Like it used to be we used to be able to just go over there and whenever we wanted to catch a plane over there, now you gotta have a passport and everything. Yeah, no, it's not that close, like. Yeah, we Muslims, mainly. No, no, we haven't had no terror. Oh, we've had that one. He was just a fucking nutter. He was, I think he was just on something that far. Like, he, he, he just wanted someone to follow him, I think. Like, he wanted followers and no one liked him. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why we don't, like, we don't really show uh, like American stuff and all that. We don't get much of that over here. Like, we do if we subscribe to it and that, but... It, don't really get to see it. Like, so we don't. The only terrorist shit we get is just like when we go terrorise them. Like, we had a big Australia versus Muslims on Bondi Beach, the biggest, you know, like one of the biggest thing on Christmas Day, Boxing Day. They shut to shut down Bondi Beach. Like, it was on. The streets were just, yeah. They fucked everything in the streets. Yeah, it was one of the biggest fights, yeah. Uh, well, half of our butcher shops have shut down because of them, like, the halal meat. It's got to be cut, face like, facing, the building's got to be facing a certain way. It's, it's got to be cut a certain yeah. way. It's still got to go down exactly the same way. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Our country's too good to let them come. It's just our promise to feel sorry for them. <laughs> Let some half of them come in, but I say like they come to Australia, they take our culture. Like you can't just bring yours and expect us to take that. Fuck that. Yeah, my mate plays that. He's going to um, Colorado next year or the year after. Are you talking about union or? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I swim with them every summer, Melbourne, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. When we go diving and you've got a bag full of lobsters and that, and they come swimming up next to you, like the Port Jacksons or the Grey Nurse or something, the Grey Nurse has got the big needle teeth. They don't touch her, but they look scary as fuck, so... Like, yeah, shit yourself. I've been chased out. 
I've been chased out more by stingrays than fucking sharks. I've seen more stingrays than sharks, like, chase me. And they're aggressive motherfuckers. No, only, only when we're out of the water, it come up to the boat. Come up to the side of the boat and just looked at us. Yeah, that's the only time we've seen them. Yeah. They had, Dad said years and years ago down here there was one, like they had a, one of their boats and he'd come up beside of their boat and Dad reckons he couldn't start the boat quick enough and get out of there. He reckons it made the boat look like a, a little canoe. And he goes, that was it for me. He goes, I was gone. Oh, fucking hell. And like, he, he's sitting there then going to me, like, get in the water and get me some lobsters. Hurry up, go for a dive. After telling me stories and that. So like, yeah, no worries. Oh, this spot here, we did this, we caught this here. Just before I go diving. Or the night before. Like some spot I'd pull out 40 lobsters. 40 lobsters in half an hour. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't say experience, experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the regulator, the regulator. I got attacked, oh we didn't get attacked by dolphins, but we had dolphins come at us one day. Like they wanted, they were going to hurt us, we had to get out of the water. We didn't see, like one of the females had a baby in the back, at the back. And these males were shooting off, protecting her. We didn't know, we were just getting closer and closer and you could hear the high pitch underneath the water getting intense. Yeah, you too. Just intense. Yeah. They'll help you, like they'll, they'll come up to you and swim around you if there's a shark around, so the shark won't come near you. Yeah, they're pretty smart. Yeah. Like kill a whale, a kill a whale will do it too. Yeah, there's only like the, the tiger shark that'll eat you, and the great white, they're the only two that'll really attack you here. The rest of them will swim off. Oh, the hammerhead's pretty aggressive too. But the tiger and the, the white, they're the two that'll just come up and take a bite. They'll just have a bite just to see what you are. An actual great white will have a feed, like eat a seal, and then see something else and spew that seal up just to eat something else. They're just, they're just gutses. One of the divers up here, or one of the fishermen, they got a tiger shark. It had a front bumper bar, a number plate, 
Another one had like half a tire in it. They just they're a scavenger, mate. The tiger shark. They'll, yeah, they'll they'll eat anything. Tiger shark. If you have a look online, like Vic Hislop, his shop. Yeah, he's cut some sharks over, mate, and they've got yeah some stupid shit out. You'd think, what the fuck? Yeah, they'll just go up and have a chunk, like have a bite. And, yeah, that tastes alright or not? I'll just leave it. Well, that they've already had a bite of it, so there's half of it down its gut. Tigers have jumped out of the water and grabbed people's motors and like sh shook the back of their motors, mate. No, I wouldn't like to fuck with them. It's one shark I steer clear of. No, it's alright, like. Getting eaten by sharks like getting hit by lightning. The chance, you know, like. No more chance of getting hit by a fucking car. Yeah. Oh. Yes and no. <laughs> yeah, that's up north we did. A lot of cyclones and that. We had. Ayers Rock or Mount Kosciuszko. Here's rock. Right. We've stopped all that now, you're not allowed to walk up to the top. See, a lot of people think that when they land in Australia, you're going to see a kangaroo straight away. It's, no. It, it's the kangaroos, man, like, they're, they're fucking miles away. Like, we've got heaps down here where we are. Uh, where we are, you go outside, you'll see one jumping down the road or whatever, every now and again. But in, in Sydney and that, nah. You don't mm -hmm. see them in the Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, anything like that, you won't see them in any of these cities. I've had heaps of people say, how, how do the planes land with the kangaroos on the runway? It's like, what? Like, they, they're not on the fucking runway. <laughs> they're not. Dude. They're not in the city. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the wallabies are up in the bush. They're, the, the, they're right in the bush. The big roos, the big greys, they're the ones you'll see in the reds. Reds, they're the big bastards. They're the ones you don't want to fuck with. No, they're a red. No, the wallabies are small. They're tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you get reds, you get whites, you get blacks, you get all different ones, depending on where they live. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad, the old Sydney. They charge two, it's like, um, oh, two, three hundred, oh, two hundred bucks a person to go up there now, I think, to walk up there. At on New Year's Eve, when they have the fireworks, it costs them like five grand a person to go up, stand up there and watch the fireworks, ten grand a person. Yeah. Ten thousand dollars, yeah. I wouldn't have a clue, mate. And that's like two or three hundred people they'll have up there watching it. And then you'll only get like an hour up there at a time. You don't get to spend the night up there, it's just like an hour up there and then you come down the next lot go up for an hour. Yeah. 
Mate, the Chinese, Chinese have got everything booked. Everything booked. Like, you, you mate, all the theme parks, everywhere. Like, you go, they're there. Wow. They come here and they want everything. They just, yeah, they love it. They're, they're bought half of Australia. I've had to go off at a couple at fishing and that. Mum was sitting there with a little blender taking all the small undersized fish. Sydney. Can't have a joint now. It's a prick of a joint now, mate. Commonwealth. Oh, dude, we're pretty. Yep. Yeah, dude. And then he'd have to apply too. He has to apply. And then it goes through certain people to say, yeah, all right, he's allowed or not. Or how long he's coming for. If he's coming for more than, say, a month, who's going to support him? Where is he going to live? Blah, 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 because you can't have a job here unless he gets a working visa. And he gets caught working, he gets jailed for five years and then sent home. Oh, dude, that's what I'm saying. The Chinese are all over here working on the farms, doing all the fruit and veg and that. They're, they're, they're raiding the farms, mate, and you can see them all running, scattering. <laughs> uh, hundreds of them. We've got shows over here of the, them raiding the farms and that. Yeah, because they come over here and their family say, stay, you just work here. But they get paid like $3 an hour or something, fuck all. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, dude, they have, they ha they have, they have eighteen people living in a two-bedroom house, and they're charging them eighty bucks, eighty, ninety bucks each a week. And like, dude, they're lucky to move inside the house. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, we're happy, we're happy. Where's your passport? Oh no, we don't know where that is. Well, that's what they're doing now. They're getting the head, the ringleaders of it, the ones who are actually organising them to work. They're actually busting them now. So, yeah, they've got. That's what I mean. They've got TV shows over here about it now, where they're busting them. It's, I sit here and have a bit of a laugh. Oh, because you see, like our officers are like pretty big lads, and it's like. How's this dude gonna chase this little Korean bloke through the, you know, over fences and all that? You just see him, they're just standing there looking over the fence. He's gone that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, he's, like, he's over there. And you see like eight blokes running through the street trying to catch him. It's like, yeah, no. Oh, it's not their fault either, you know what I mean? Like, it's... It's not the bit of life. Yeah. It's not the bit of life, it's just... They get conned. And yeah, will they send money home to their families then? So, they still make
Nah, that's up north, bro. That's up in Queensland. It's real humidity. Down where we are, it's pretty good. No, it's not hot. It's not hot. No, it's not hot. It's not hot. I'll, I'll make you one of them little bubbles like, you know, the bubble boys got, so you can walk around and nothing will come near you. <laughs> and I'll get, make him a big bubble. I'll make him a big bubble so he can walk around in the bubble so nothing can go near him. No spiders or snakes or... He'll be right. We just might chuck a few in That's no. They can only they can only strike a, a, a quarter of their body. Doesn't matter which way that they'll hit you, whatever which way. It's about a quarter, just over a quarter of their body they can hit you. Right. Yeah, good game, bro. Yes. Yeah. See you, mate. I <laughs> know you do. <laughs> He'll dream about them tonight. What nickname uh. is yeah. Cheers for the game, lad.